Hi, welcome to this short video. My name is Mark Champion from CRFS. Often, when you're searching for short or POG signals with a narrow spectrum, those signals can get lost within all the noise. Our new forensic analysis software, DeepView, can help you see through that noise and extract your signals of interest. Let's see how it works. To start with, I'm going to record some live data. So first, I need to switch to record mode. You can now see the live spectrum. I can zoom or drag the focus window around different parts of the spectrum in order to find the part that I am interested in. For this video, I'm going to have a look at the Wi-Fi spectrum, which is up around 2.5 GHz, as there should be plenty to look at here. You see there is a white box which indicates the real-time bandwidth, I'm going to frame the signals I'm interested in inside my real-time bandwidth and press the record button. You can now see the record progress box that shows the data rate being written to disk, the disk space being used, and I also have a live preview of the spectrum being recorded, so I can decide if the data is of interest and when to stop the recording. Let's stop it here. We see information about the recording appearing here on the left. It also gives me a convenient way to switch to the analysis mode to analyse the recording I've just made. So let's click on the analysis button. That will switch me back into the analysis mode. And you can see, as soon as I've switched to the analysis mode, the PC is processing and analysing the data. And it's analysing with a 50% overlap FFT, and you can see it's going about 750 meg per second. And now you can see the overview of all the data we've just recorded. Up here it shows the recorded data is 12.5 gigabytes. On the left hand side is an overview of all the data. And in the middle area we have the analysis region, which we can use to zoom in on parts of the data to take a closer look at what's going on. On the top here we have a statistical spectrograph, showing a view down the time axis of the spectrum. And we also have a time cursor here which I can move around. And you can see on the right hand side, I've also got a power time chart at the bottom and a spectrum chart at the top, which is showing me a heat map of the spectrum where the time cursor is at the moment. So if I decide I want to play back that data, I can play it forwards or backwards or step through it. Let's play it forwards. As you can see, the charts follow the progress of the time cursor. While it's playing, I'm able to zoom in on any part of the data. As I zoom in further, you see the playback is becoming more and more detailed for a smaller section. Going back to the overview here on the left, you can see the white box that indicates the region I'm zooming into in the analysis region. So, as I zoom in further, you can see that the white box is actually changing to represent the degree of zoom I'm using in the analysis region. So let's stop the playback now and I start zooming in on the data in a more manual and interactive way. For instance, I could look in the overview here on the left and say that this region is potentially of interest. I right click and drag the mouse to draw a box around that region and then zoom into it. It now shows me where I've zoomed into and I now have a more detailed view of what's going on in that region. I'm now going to scroll the mouse button to zoom even further. As I continue in zooming, once I get past a particular point, around about 500 megabytes, DeepView stops using pre-summarized data and starts to analyze the data on the fly, although this is dependent on the settings you're currently using. I've zoomed in quite a long way here, and now we can see individual bursts. This is an interesting one. I can see it's a Wi-Fi spectrum, but it has an interesting artifact on it. You can see what is possibly some sort of carrier um, I don't think it's part of the modulation, but it certainly seems to end at the same time. To check, I can zoom in further on this particular Wi-Fi transmission. And now we can see it is in fact an independent transmission that happens to end at the same time. As we've been zooming in on the signal, you may have noticed a lot of the charts have changed given a more detailed view. This is possible as DeepView is now doing an on-the-fly analysis. 
So in the bottom right hand corner I have an IQ time heat map and in the bottom left hand corner I have an I versus Q heat map. Above that I have magnitude against time heat map, I have a frequency against time heat map and a phase against time heat map. As I move my cursor around the analysis region we have cross cursors all around those charts. I can use the mouse in the IQ time chart to zoom in to the beaconing of the burst. As I zoom in, all our other charts are zooming in in synchrony. If I zoom in right down to the individual sample level, you can see the start of the burst, and I can move the FFT slowly up that burst here to look at the individual IQ samples. You can see as the Wi-Fi transmission is a multi-carrier transmission, we'll be able to look at the individual carriers. You can also see magnitude of IQ against time and frequency against time. Let's zoom out now to see if we can find a different transmission. Just scrolling the mouse out a little. This here looks like a Bluetooth transmission, so let's have a closer look at it. You can see the carrier coming up just before the modulation starts. And if I zoom the time axis, you can see the frequency against time. Now I'll be able to see the digital bits of the modulation. In the left hand panel we have various bits of information. I just reset the view to include all the data. We see the precise start and stop time and the precise start and stop frequency of the data set. We have the original sample rate, the real time bandwidth, the number of samples and size on disk. The analysis info panel, because I'm zoomed right out now, shows exactly the same information. However, as I zoom in the analysis region, the panel updates to reflect the view I currently have. So as I zoom in further and further, deep view will switch to tuning mode, and once it does this, it starts to digitally tune and decimate the view, so the IQ is centered on the frequency in the analysis region. And you can see that the real-time bandwidth and the sample rate are changing. Now, if this was a signal I was interested in, I could press the export button and export a tiny snippet of IQ centered on this frequency and it would be digitally tuned using the sample rate and this real-time bandwidth. This allows me to extract signals that don't occupy the full time and don't occupy the full real-time bandwidth of the recorded data. So I can then perform further analysis or save it for reference later on. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at DeepView and its capabilities. For more videos on DeepView and the CRF Spectrum Solutions, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.